In WRC 7, the career mode was based on completing all the rallies over an entire season. This time with WRC 8, what we're trying to do is represent a driver's career and everything they do throughout a year. This career is based on three pillars. The first is the calendar, which is used to choose which events to take part in. The second is the team. He must manage this team. It's nice to be a good driver, but it's also important to work together. In WRC 8, we decided to create six different jobs, which are at the heart of the sport. They provide bonuses to your crew and to the driver, which could be working on your car directly, managing your race schedule, or forecasting the weather for a rally or special stage. You have a whole team to manage. The third pillar is managing a skill tree. You use this skill tree to upgrade your crew. It's divided into several branches and several categories, with some focusing on your car, others on your crew and team, others on your car's overall reliability. You upgrade one, it has an effect on the other. One of the major new features in WRC 8 is dynamic weather. While rallying a stage, you might start out in the sunshine and end in the rain. We have a meteorologist who can forecast this weather and provide you with information so that you, as a player, can choose the right setup and tyres for your car. So these are the strategic choices that a player will make based on the preferences, but also based on the management aspect of the skill tree. What have I upgraded? Am I set up to perform better in the rain, or in a very long stage, or a very short stage? What do I specialize in? What's my game experience? In WRC 7, the goal is to complete in the WRC 1 category, which is the ultimate title. This year, you don't need to start in the junior category, you can also start in WRC 2. So there are two distinct starting points, and there are specific cars available for both the junior category and the WRC 2. In both categories, you need to progress to be eligible to enter the WRC2 Pro category, which is a new category in the official sport, and then to WRC, the ultimate crown. As you progress, you get new cars, and your crew performs better and better as you recruit stronger crew members. The skill tree evolves as well. The rallies also change in the number of special stages within a rally, increases so they become longer and more intense. You start to race in stages of up to 23 kilometers, which is almost 20 minutes of intense gameplay where your choice of tires becomes increasingly important and could determine your final position. We have statistics at the end of each race that tell us what's happened. After all the special stages, we can see wear and tear of parts, times per section and those of your competitors. We can see which competitors won and what choices they made, or conversely, why they didn't finish first. Maybe they didn't choose the right tyres, whereas I did. I took a longer at the start but became faster at the end. This helps us to develop a personal strategy. From season to season, we learn, we build our crew and we take the skill tree in a certain direction. The statistics are a result of all those decisions and they show us whether we are on the right track or not.